happened, unfortunately, on the sidelines. Can you tell us how the injury occurred? Um, well, yeah, just against against West Coast uh, about five weeks ago now. Yeah, I just was going to tackle one of their players and um, so my foot got caught in an awkward position and then I think Porks came through and just yeah, sort of took my leg out a bit and um, sort of completely snapped my fibula and did some damage to my foot. So. So what's the prognosis from here? Um, well, at the moment I'm in the moon boot for, well, yeah, 12 weeks, I guess. So I've got um, sort of nine weeks with no weight bearing at all, just on the crutches. Um, and then from there I can slowly put a bit of weight through it and then I get, I get a screw out of my ankle at 12 weeks um, and then I should be able to sort of walk and start progressing to running. So hopefully I'll be all sort of back and ready to go in January. Yeah. So what have you been doing to keep yourself sane in the last uh, five weeks? Yeah, it's been a lot of time on the couch and in my bedroom, that's for sure. So I've, I've um, smashed out a few TV series and um, a bit of PlayStation and, and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, yeah, just TV and, and PlayStation, really. You going home soon or have you um, been back? I've got a, a trip booked to Thailand, so that'll, that'll be nice to just get away for a bit um, with, my, with my girlfriend. Um, and then... Uh, when I get back from that, I'll hopefully go in and get the, the screw out of my ankle. Um, I'll stay here for a couple of weeks and do a bit of rehab um, in terms of just getting my ankle and my leg going because um, my calf is pretty pretty thin at the moment because it hasn't seen the daylight for a while. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully get home for a couple of weeks and then be back here ready to go for, for the pre-season and, and rehab. Physios have looked after you with a bit of a sweet ride yeah. to get around in. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's my little scooter. It's... Um, Park way behind the table here. It's um, yeah, it's nice. It makes life a bit easier at home. Just getting around the house a bit easier, and, and sort of ha lets me use my hands a bit more instead of having to use the crutches. Um, so I can sort of you know look after myself a bit better because I was finding it pretty tough. So yeah, it's 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 very handy. Yeah. Some of the boys have taken it for a spin as well. I'd imagine. Yes. When I'm in there training, the boys just sneak in and, and take it away and take it for cruises up and down the, the locker room. There's a few skid marks on the floor and. Um, Vinny's not very happy about that, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, as long as they're enjoying it, that's all right. <laughs> we get you back for pre-season. That's your aim now. You just keep yeah. your eyes on the goal. Definitely, I, you know. There's, I suppose, with a long-term injury, I guess you've got to set yourself little, little goals and you know, just tick them off as you go. And it, sort of when you get one done, it, you know, you can look forward to the next one, and it, you feel like you're progressing. So originally, it was just sort of getting pain-free and stuff, and. Now it's, um, you know, got to build up to that six-week mark and then I'll get in the pool and do some swimming, some swimming and get a bit of strength back in my leg and, you know, there's all just little little steps I have to get through. Um, but, yeah, so far it's gone pretty well and, and the physios seem pretty happy with how it's tracking. So. You seem pretty positive now. How do you try and stay positive when you'd only just got yeah. yourself back into the team? Just rotten luck. Um, yeah, it was pretty frustrating, obviously, like... A, you know, I've worked pretty hard to get back, get back in the side, and, and I wasn't, I was in, you know, reasonable form, and you know, it's just one of those things that you can't, you can't control. It's just an you know, unlucky kind of thing, um, you know, and that's probably the way I'm looking at it at the moment. Like I can't control it now. What's happened's happened, and I have to just, you know, do my rehab properly so I give myself the best chance to get back out there. Um, that's the only thing I can do, really.